good afternoon dear student we are discussing we are learning long walk to freedom nelson mandela in my last class i discussed few speech the mandela speech that he took on his oath taking ceremony and to hope you have completed that and you are studying at home today i will learn after that okay let's start a few moments later in this paragraph mendela says that after his speech after giving his speech he looked over the towards the sky and looked some helicopters and troop carriers are moving over the union buildings and they are showing their loyalty to the democracy new government and to mandela and he noticed that the head of the high general of police high general of police military defense all the heads were showing their loyalty to mandela and the government then he remembered there was a time when mandela was imprisoned was arrested by the same police military generals also but today performing the non diesel development non diesel government the same person are showing their loyalty to mandela and saluting them then he realized the difference of a powerful person and a powerless person and finally he noticed the chevron color of influences let his mock trail black green blue gold as like the south african flag that means that has been noticed a chevron that you say i am showing you this way the african helicopters and flats moved over the union buildings and let the smoke like this way. this is called chevron color as like this is called chevron as like the alphabet b this is chevron and let the smoke this way and these are the color of african flag remember got it okay now see you may ask in your exam that uh, they will change one color from this suppose black black red green blue and they will change gold instead of gold they will put another color and we will ask you whether this true or false so you have to remember all this color okay you got it in this paragraph we found that mandela when mandela noticed over the sky he found to see the african helicopters were moving to show their loyalty and salute mandela and all of a sudden he noticed the high general of south african defense force police all the heads of this particular department saluted mandela and showed, showed their loyalty to the new government and there was a time mandela arrested uh, was arrested by the same person okay and uh, another thing we found that he can flag or jet be helicopters let the smoke of different colors of different colors of the african flag like black red green blue and gold okay okay now come to the next paragraph on that particular day that means on the ceremony on the oath taking ceremony two national anthem were sung one by the black and other by the whites the black people sang dais them and the white sing os signal i have to remember this two name of the flag singing okay black people sang dais stem and white people sang ne kosi signal i have to so do neither the black nor the whites knew the meaning of the particular 
seeing okay got it and this is the main things on exam on every exam point of view okay now come to the next paragraph in this paragraph mendela says they on this particular ceremony he recalled his history that there was a time maybe between maybe before his birth that white people that white skin people passed up that means established a system that system name was apartheid that established a system in africa for dominating you know, dominating the blacks and curtailing the rights of black people that system was very harshest most inhuman societies old has ever known that means there was not a single country like africa for having such kind of harshest ruling in human ruling but the system which was based up which was established by the white skin people was found in africa but when africa when mandela become 70 or 80 years old and after struggling struggling for a long period mandela was able to form a non racial government and that system had been that system had been overturned that system had been overturned and replaced on the recognized as the freedom of people regardless of the color of their skin that means after long struggling by mandela a non racial government regardless of color caste mandela was able to form a non racial government that apartheid system had been removed by mandela and a non racial government was formed okay got it okay next paragraph you see that mandela formed that whose government was formed by mandela for forming that particular government many patriots many great leaders tried but they all they lost their lives they sacrificed their lives but was not able to form the non racial government which was mandela able so mandela thanked mandela thanked all the patriots who had lost their life before mandela for struggling for the community for his people for the black people though they were not able and mandela says sorry mandela was paid mandela was sorry because he was unable to show the people though who can't able to form a non racial government and the apartheid created a deep and lasting wound for the country for the people and the system of ruling by the white people was very brutality which was undesirable by the black people that means the white people oppressed oppression was very brutality very brutal ruling was happening in africa and for such kinds of brutal ruling some people of having great characterized like the oliver tembos Walter Sisulas, Sip Lutulis, Yusuf Dedos, the Bran Fishers, the Robots, Sobokes were born in Africa. Now look one thing. When you used article, when you used article D before a noun, then it will indicate it will used as proper noun. Yes? proper noun as you know article d does not use in before noun but when you use article d before a noun that will indicate a proper noun For example the tendul cards you may say the tendul cards when you say the tendul cards that doesn't mean the tendul card himself but 
it will indicate the qualities of dendral cars got it hope it's clear hence same way the sip lutulis here before lutulis before lutulis article dss same way the other okay all these people were very courageous very wisdom and their heart was very generosity full of generosity they were very kind hearted person and mandela says from this person mandela no mandela knew the meaning of courage what kind of courage should be mandela knew from the particular patriots here mandela says another things that my country is rich in minerals gems etc that you must know the africa south africa is famous for gold diamonds you may say johannesburg yes johannesburg kimberley all these countries are famous for gold mines diamond mines so you may say south africa is famous for gold diamonds minerals but mandela says remember mandela says his people are the greatest wealth of africa that means his people that means all the people of africa are the truer finer by the purest dime diamonds by the purest minerals of africa the great line remember this okay the next paragraph you see in this paragraph mendela says that a mendel learned the courage from that particular person and he says the courage was not absence of fear but triumph over it a brave man is not he who does not feel afraid but he who conquers that fear that means suppose he do not feel afraid he do not have any fear that doesn't mean that you are a braver you are braver than who you defeated the fear defeat that particular fear that means according to mandela a brave man is not he who doesn't feel afraid but he who conquers over that fear got it okay now come to the next paragraph here he says not a single person born to hate other person to hate other color to hate other caste every person born in a new day but when he face the other situations when he will when he is pressurized by other people then he learn to hate others then he learn to hate learn to fight against others okay same according to mandela if one can be learn to hate others then he must learn to love others according to mandela because according to mandela loves loves love comes more naturally in human heart than hate remember this love comes more easily in human heart than hate you have love for others before hate love produces in your heart easily than the hate for others okay now see mendela again says that when he was in prison he noticed a grimest humanity in a guards in the heart of a god when he was in prison and that was enough for mendela that was enough for mendela to keep going on with his struggle with his movement and he says man's goodness is a flame that can be hidden but never extinguished man's goodness is a flame that can be hidden but never extinguished you have you may hidden you may hide your goodness but at a time that will come out that can be that can't be destroyed okay so i hope you have got it you have cleared all the things and uh, today 
I do not want to go more. I think you have to remember all the odd meanings the right side of the your lesson and I will discuss in next video to complete the lesson and if you have any doubt if you have any confusion then you can comment or contact me or text me and I will try my best to make you understand okay thank you for watching